Welcome back inside Wildcat Country. As you're aware, Thanksgiving's the busiest travel holiday of the year. What you may not be aware of is what happens when a hockey team travels all the way to Colorado. That's why we go behind the scenes at a UNH men's hockey Thanksgiving. Been on the road quite a bit, definitely kind of part of being a hockey player. We'll head out on Thanksgiving morning. We'll leave the rink about uh, 5.45 in the morning and fly out of Boston. My role with the team is uh, to take care of our day-to-day -day operations and assist the coaches and players. Team travel, equipment, scheduling, setting up all the trips and the hotels. Also, any of the extra stuff, stick bags, uh, bring that up front. This trip to Denver will be pretty good uh, because we're not missing a lot of class. So. Uh, guys can kind of relax, you know, if we're missing class, sometimes guys are stressed out. Everybody comfy? Wow! Where you go? We have a good group of guys. There's always something interesting. Basically, it's a uh, pretty trivial game played amongst us boys. Everyone puts in a dollar and it creates a large pot of money. And the first bag to come out, that person's bag wins the money. Oh. It gets pretty heated sometimes, but uh, it's fun. It's all good fun, you know. Goalies, you know what, they always get worried about uh, trying to get, you know, make sure their pads get there because they don't, we don't have a separate bag for those, so that's always kind of a headache. <laughs> <laughs> why, why the carousel stop? My extremely expensive, valuable pad. I some got caught in the belt, uh, holding up all these people. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Goalies worry about a lot of things, so we just try and keep them, keep them calm. We're home free. There'll be 37 on this trip. So we travel with all our players, Wildcat Country, our coaching staff, and then uh, support staff. So uh, myself, our student managers, Glenn Reeves from Star, our trainer, uh, Tom Wilkins, our SID, and then we'll have our, our radio guys with us, Dan and Pete. Everybody shares a room. I've had a solid rooming uh, relationship with Brett Kostelansky. I don't think I have one road trip away from him. So we're kind of like soulmates in the roommate category. <laughs> Brett, what are you watching over there? There you are. So Brett, uh, question, how did you manage to shave that thing on your face? What do you mean? Some people like to play cards, some people stay on their computers, watch movies, TV shows, homework if it needs to get done. Yeah, what kind of homework? Uh, history homework. Just pretty much, you're either with a group of people or you're just you and your roommate laying in the beds next to each other, watching TV, talking. Nothing too crazy, just kind of relax and put your feet up. You know, we'll have the whole team together, have Thanksgiving uh, meal at the hotel. American Thanksgiving, of course, not Canadian. <laughs> Where'd you go with Maddie? Uh, apple. A little apple pie? A little apple, a little ice cream, a little apple. Casey, what did, what did you go with today? Uh, a little ice cream? Apple as well. Just good for the camaraderie of the guys and get to know each other a little bit more on a personal basis other than just being a hockey player. What do we got going on right now? Uh, we're just loading the bus, getting ready to head to Colorado Springs. Nice tilt. Good Colorado College Tigers, are they? Come on, boys. Here, You're making, making a list, making checking it, it twice. Checking it's it the twice. holiday season. You don't want to leave them, it's a long walk home. You know, the road trips are fun, but sometimes they're a lot of work, whether it's the amount of travel that you have to do or some of the places you go, they don't play hockey in. Uh, you know, the warmest places and most exotic places. So when you're in Grand Forks for four days, you're ready to come home. You have to be flexible because things, they can only go right. Nobody gives you a high five when the bus is on time, but if the bus is late, it's, uh, it's not a good thing. So it's, uh, it's fun, but it's nice to get home as well. 
the Wildcats will take the ice for their annual game at the Verizon Wireless Arena on January 26. The Merrimack Warriors will be in Manchester for the 5 p.m. faceoff. For tickets, visit unhwildcats.com or call 1-800-745-3000.